Damn, it's been eight days since I last posted. But yeah, it's kind of been a long time since I posted, but it is what it is. But finally making a new video, but hopefully this video is going to be good enough for you to like and subscribe. But why not comment your opinion on Project Delta or anything else you want to talk about? But let's actually get into the video. Hello boys, welcome to the newest video on the Giuseppe channel. And I'm continuing my kind of crappy series with another crappy video. But yeah, I'm going to be talking about Project Delta. It's the most recent game I picked up and started playing. And will have a couple of issues with the game and that's why I'm making this video. But let's actually get into the video. Now Project Delta is basically Escape from Tarkov, but on Roblox. The game is one of the better Roblox Tarkov games. Uh, now the game is free, meaning you can play it right now. And if you were to ask me would I recommend this game, I would say yeah, the game is completely alright, it's free, meaning you can go check it out right now. But the game is still an alpha, meaning that probably the game will change a lot. I think the criticism most of the time can be helpful uh, to the game developers to help them improve the game, because without the community, there really isn't a game. Let's actually get into the main talking points of this video. Where the fuck I am? Where the fuck I am? Spawns. Now, there are lots of spawns in this game. The only thing that really makes a spawn good or bad really only depends on what kind of gear you bring with you to each run, which I think is absolutely fine. Actually needing to plan for every single run and making sure you have enough stuff to actually bring into the wasteland so you don't die from something random like bleeding out to death or dying from thirst or hunger. The biggest gripe I have with spawns is if you're playing with your friends or a group and all of you die at the same time, you won't be able to spawn at the same spawn. So all of you will be just randomly thrown out, which means you have to spend five to 10 minutes actually trying to find each other and then link up, which isn't fun or you can spawn really really close to a monument and they get killed by npcs or players which sucks because then you lose everything you worked hard on also a really really funny thing that happened was uh, when i was playing with one of my friends was that every single time he got killed and then respawned randomly he would get the same spawn and just immediately get killed again which was just hilarious but the most annoying thing is getting killed by campers <laughs> Now, we all hate campers. I mean, people who just sit in one corner or on top of a crane or radio sniping at people and just having no life. The worst thing yet, you can't even shoot back at them because they'll just break their wrist and still bust in your head. Just like Johnny Sins busting his customers on a day-to-day -day basis, peaking is pretty much impossible against really good players because most of the time, you aren't even going to get the chance to get behind cover. And even if you do get behind cover, you can't really maneuver out of it. And trying to get into a better position is pretty much impossible because you can't really lean left or right, so you pretty much have to run out of it and hope you don't die. But if the player just has better gear than you, uh, he can just rush you and kill you immediately. You can't really do much unless you have armor piercing bullets or something really specific to try to break through his armor because kill time in this game is pretty long and it takes a long time to actually kill people with actually really really good armor so you won't be really killing a player who has much better gear than you. You're just going to die unless you run away or blow their legs up. But if the player is hacking, you have no chance. Huh? 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 Well damn, look at this footage. A person openly talking about them hacking? What? what what's what's going on? Oh my god, man, what the f But yeah, people hack in all games, so no surprise people hack in this game as well. But in this game it's much worse if you get killed by a hacker because you lose all of your gear or anything else you had on you, which does suck there isn't like a little box where you can put all your things i mean not all of your things but a couple of things that you won't lose after death like there is in tarkov you can only just report them and then go into discord and just file like a lawsuit against the person who was hacking but most of the time people who are actually hacking do get banned which is a lot more than in some other games where people hack and nothing happens but yeah the last point or i guess a part is NPCs. NPCs in this game are weird. <laughs> now, NPCs. NPCs in this game are pretty strange. For the most part, bandits or highways robbers or whatever the fuck they're called are completely blind until you shoot at them. Only then, they turn their gaze towards you and proceed to not miss a single shot and just kill you without even thinking about it twice. Or they miss 
every single shot and you can easily kill them without even thinking about it twice. Or if you're just a giga chad, chuck a grenade right below their legs and watch them blow up since they won't really realize it and just stand there like a fool. Anton, pretty much the only boss in the game, is a complete giga chad. If he sees you, he will hit every single shot. And the whole lumber area is also pretty difficult unless there aren't any NPCs or they're just stupid and just let you sneak around it and throw grenades at them. I mean, that's the only way, only tactical way to actually clear lumber. Holy hellhole, you actually made it to the end of this video. Great. Uh, did you know that I actually have a Discord? Right in the description. You can check it out. It's completely empty. And I guess uh, if you do go to it, we can, I guess, chat or whatever i don't know what people do with their discords like i have no clue but yeah hopefully this video was aight and uh, you think it's good i mean this video isn't the most highest quality uh but yeah thanks for watching and see you probably next time but i guess we'll never know